Evening all, how are we doing? A uh, little bit behind the um, organisational schedule and things today. Oh yeah, that's what it goes. Now the half was distracting me by being funny. <laughs> As she does. Mm. Uh, we made it, we're here now though. How's it going? Hmm. Yes indeed, how is it going? Let's find out. Ah. Uh. My armrest broke down here um, last night, reached the end of its functional life, and I, I tried to fix it, and I had a rummage around looking for longer bolts and all manner of bits and pieces to see what I had in my toolbox. It was not happening. So I reattached one of the arms onto my chair. So I now have a one-armed chair, but I took them off for a reason, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely satisfied with the state of affairs. Hey. Talk about, uh, you know, first world problems and all, but uh, tis what it is. How are we all doing anyway? Having a good one? I can't believe the show hasn't even been out for a week yet. All out show. I feel like it's, um, I don't know, I feel like the last week has been a very long week. And the last sort of, two and a half weeks have been a, a weird kind of uh, hybrid of time. You know, it's like, uh, I know it's been like two and a half weeks, but it's actually the same week. And that kind of vibe. It's all a bit weird. Which is appropriate, really, because so am I. Anyway. <laughs> it is... Um, well, it's Tuesday, so that means it's Monday in Fallout. <laughs> in terms of Fallout, anyway. At the start of any Fallout week, I say... Bloody smudge, get off my glasses. Yeah, new challenges and things. I had, this afternoon, one challenge left on the weeklies, plus, you know, my dailies for today, or technically yesterday, I don't know, depends on how you want to look at it. I ended up getting that done quite nicely, so that went well. Uh, yeah, I'm ticking along, I'm like 38 or something, 39, something like that, rank on uh, the scoreboard at the moment. I could see! So, uh, yeah, definitely um, definitely getting along nicely there. Looking forward to diving in and making some more progress. So, how are we all doing? Evening Tango, evening Belfast, evening Feline, hope you're well. Uh, evening Saki, how's it going? Evening Wayne? Or morning Saki, rather, if you're, you're, you're down under. You're upside down, aren't you? Well, up London has been delayed. It has, Belfast, yeah. I uh, clocked that over the weekend. I actually mentioned it yesterday, but uh, did I post anything about it? I think I posted something about it somewhere. But um, yeah, it it has been delayed, unsurprisingly. Is Prime the only place to watch Fallout? Yes. It was produced um, in conjunction with Amazon. They funded and so on and so forth a large part of the production. So uh, yes, Prime is the only place to watch it. 
Uh, they probably won't thank me for reminding people of this, Right Centre, but uh, yeah, if you don't have Prime, you can always sign up for the free trial and get access to it that way. And then, you know, it's a free month of Prime, you can get all the benefits of Prime for a month, and then cancel it before you have to pay for it, if you want to. I'm sure they'd rather I didn't say things like that, but hey, if you're going to put the offer on, you kind of uh, make your own bed and you lie in it, don't you? Maybe a little cynical way of looking at it, but um, I think with all the money Amazon make, they can afford a little cynicism coming from a little guy like me. <laughs> I don't think they're going to lose any sleep over that. Unless they've gone completely doolally. <clears throat> yeah, some of that went down the wrong hole. How's it going now? You alright? Let's get this ball a rolling, shall we? Oh, yeah. Um, I found out today, actually, I have just and so passed 100 days of solid playtime in Fallout 76. So effectively, my game time is 100 days without sleep since it launched. So over five and a half years. Still a thick little... I'll try something. Sorry, I know I'm probably making you guys a headache doing this, but... So sometimes OBS has a bit of an issue switching to Fallout. Um, in particular, it has a difficulty picking up the, the game for a moment. It did it okay this time, but instead it decided to disconnect momentarily. Um, I was wondering whether or not that's because I used my uh, uh, Stream Deck to switch it. It's a bit weird. Uh, it happens sometimes with other games, but not as much. It's all... it's... There's something weird going on back there. So if you had a little wibble there when I changed initially to this particular scene, that'll be why. Haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of one of the reasons why I uh, avoid Facebook in a way, that one now. Not because people moaning about Fallout specifically, but because Facebook has an incredible ability to bring the very, very worst out of people. I mean, social media and the internet will do that a lot anyway, but Facebook is particularly bad for it. Oh, we got here Fallout first free trial going on. Um, Fallout first limited trial. There's no point in me doing this because you know. Um, well, that's not correct. The dates are wrong on it. Let's press that. Hang on. Yeah, if you haven't got Fallout first and you want to take advantage of the free trial, one of the best things about it, you get the ammo box and the scrap box, so you can dump as much scrap and ammo as you possibly can while the trial's running into um, those boxes. You lose access if you don't renew your Fallout first afterwards, but only in terms of putting things in, you can still take stuff out, so, um, you know, you might as well take advantage of it. Uh, all right, just give me a second. I'm just going to write. Uh... I'll make it make for myself. Um, just after the stream, I'll uh, message somebody over at Bethesda UK and say, "Are you aware this has gone belly up?" Well, there it is on the front page. But, yeah, the, the dates are not correct. <laughs> Uh, it says <laughs> Nobody in Courtney, right? Haven't had Facebook for a year now. I barely go on it at all. I use it for posting on my on um, the channel's page over there. Just usually as a heads up say, by the way, I've uploaded again or I'm going live again. And that's literally all I use it for. I I've given serious thoughts to just ditching it altogether. Pulling the few photographs off my private one that I actually want and then just getting rid of it because it's it's vile. <laughs> is Fallout worth it first worth it? Um, ooh, now that's a tough question. It depends, is the honest answer. Um, it includes a free grant... Not free grant, but it includes a number of monthly atoms. So you get the, the paid-for currency, you get X amount. Um, the amount of atoms you get is more than you would... the equivalent amount for paying the same amount if you're just buying them directly. So in a sense, you're getting more for your money that way. So, kinda, if you want the atoms, you get access to a private world, which for me is the 
um, the primary thing that I want, because when I'm making videos and stuff, having a private world where um, I can just go off and do my own thing, I can log out and influence what's going on in it. Um, you know, if I want it to be daytime, it's gone to nighttime, I log out, go to the bathroom, get a drink, come back again, and it boots the whole thing up again, starts over in the morning. That's really, really useful to me as a, a video creator. Um, and if you don't want to be running around with other people around you, that's, it's fun in that way as well. Um, the stash box is fantastic because crafting materials and unlimited storage for them is wonderful. Um, uh, the scrap box rather that is. Same thing for the ammo box, those are really nice to have. They're not necessary by any stretch of imagination, but it reduces uh, the hassle in some areas. So you might want to have a look at it that way. Have a look at the features on it and just see whether or not you think they're going to be useful for you. I would say if you're just starting out in 76 though, probably worth waiting a bit, seeing how you feel uh, until you get the feel for it a bit more. Because you'll see, it's not the cheapest thing ever, so yeah, that's that's my two cents. For me, it's absolutely worth it. For somebody else, mileage varies. Some people say yes, other people not so much. There's also, you get other stuff, you get a free monthly item as well, um, every month. This month is, what was it, I've forgotten already. Um, it was quite cool, oh yeah, the Lizard Terrarium for your camp. Pet Lizard. Um, so you get something like that every month. Um, and you also get um well, you get a couple of other bits and pieces as well uh oh yeah there's a whole load of extra stuff on the survival tent that's handy um you get extra stuff on the scoreboard that's fallout first exclusive like well here's an example there is the ghouls outfit from the show <laughs> put into the game but fallout first freebie so there's um, an extra thing you get things like that as well so uh, yeah, have a look through it, take your time to think about whether or not it seems like good value to you, or useful to you, or worthwhile, would be my uh, honest advice. But uh, yeah, some people say yes, others say no. For me, it's great. Hmm. Yeah, need more people joining events. Yeah, I, I'd, um, I thought we'd failed the Mothman event today, actually, because uh, people didn't really seem to know what they were doing with defending things. It had a bit of an issue, but uh, yeah. Um, actually, we got a decent reward anyway, so it's fine. Anyway, let's go through this rather than just staring at the Atomic Shop for all day. What have we got? For, for that first trial, Brotherhood Initiate Bundle. This came up in the middle of last week. It's a new building set, which actually I'm not a big fan of. Um, I was debating whether or not to pick it up. It's based on the Brotherhood Barracks from... Well, all this is basically based on where the Brotherhood were based in uh, the show. I do like this power armor stand though, that's quite cool, display unit, and these are returning objects, they're not new, but they are quite nice if you're into those. Showstopper bundle, what have we got here? Outfits, uh, paint, hat, juggling moat, uh, paint for the pepper shaker, okay, billboard letters, so that's vaguely interesting. Um, don't think I'm too bothered myself. Ah, oh, I see. The um, the lucky piece paint is that. So uh, the Sherman paint. This would be for the Pip Boy then. Um, what's that? Billboard frame. Okay. Um, and the billboard letter set. They're fine. I've got a purple version. It's basically the same though. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it to me. The plug's quite cool. But again, yeah, I don't see myself using it. So that's that. Um, it's fine because I've got other things I want to do this week. Anyway, I've got like three ideas for videos in my head at the moment. Anyway, Auto X starter bundle. Um, some fun stuff in there. I would point out that though, um, the Auto X is also purchasable for stamps, as it does say here. Um, so you don't have to get it through the Atomic Shop. This was on here last week, I think. There's some fun stuff in there, but there's a cold shoulder one again, also available for um, stamps. Requires a bit of grinding, but you don't have to pay for it. Good gum there, Cold Shoulder. So, yeah, not a lot of very exciting stuff there, I don't think. What's on this one? Uh, headliner paint. Okay. Mm, not fan myself, but okay. There's the bits of that bundle available separately if you want. Okay. That's cool. Glad that these are mostly available separately. Um, If you do want them. Yeah, I don't particularly. That's showman paint for the Pet Boy's not bad. If you have a particular outfit that the blue might go with, but <clears throat> yeah. Um, not for me. There's the Brotherhood Barracks I was talking about before. It's fine, it's not bad. But uh, not really my bag. I don't know if you can put um, 
wallpaper on the inside, but yeah, the style's not really my cup of tea. Accordion door. There we go. That was what I couldn't remember the name of the other day. And I'm quite happy with that. The Wasteland Wealth Exchange isn't bad. My concern is about <clears throat> reusability. <laughs> because it's it's very much a thing of a type. So whether or not you can use it as something other than a pawn shop, I don't know. Oh, Iron Mountain Elm Bill's back though. That's uh, a fun one. A bit flimsy, but it's fun. Apart from the floor, which is kind of rotten down at the bottom there. But otherwise, it's got some good stuff in it. Um, what have I not bought from that? Bits and pieces. Really, the only thing I'm regretting not having is the um, the blacksmith sign there, but only just there. And the unclave bundle, which I also don't really like, but I know a lot of people actually really love it. So, which is what it is. What else have we got? Courageous Tips, Brother Bundle, Unclave Outpost Bundle, different version of the Unclave stuff, some nice armor skins. The Abandoned Mines are good shelter. I do like that. That was one of the cooler ones. Firewatch Tower's fun, although not the easiest thing to work with. That's a fun thing that I should pick up at some point. <coughs> this particular uh, vending machine. Kind of tempted, actually. Street corner salesman. Yeah, I feel like I might do that. Although I don't have a lot of atoms left, so my job's probably not going to buy me anything particularly spectacular either. That's a fun outfit if you're into that look. That's a good looking character. That's a interesting idea. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? On its way out, we have the greenhouse set. Go it while you can, because there's some good stuff in there. Now, having a greenhouse set is definitely worth having if you haven't got it. Um, there's some nice bits on here. That's really cute. That sundial yeah, still makes me think he's going to stick something else through his sundial, but you know, it was just my vile mind. Samurai outfit. Never really got the appeal of that, and I've never seen anybody wearing it, I don't think, so... Hmm. Oh, free Nuka Curl Twist. Not too bothered about that. Free landscape painting. I don't mind if I do. More interested in that. Cool. Um, You know what? Screw it. I am going to get that guy because I kind of want that. Mostly clean me out, but it's fine. Anyway, shall we? <laughs> it's all bot on fire, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, well, apparently that's what the, um, the, um, the subtitles thought I said as well. Somebody commented. Well, I'm not really surprised the automated sub subtitles got that wrong. I kind of knew they were going to do that anyway. I was just a little concerned I might end up getting demonetized for it. I didn't. It's fine. I can't really afford to lose the money, to be honest. Your boy needs to get paid. <laughs> if he wants to keep eating anyway, and he kind of does want to do that. I like me food. Anyway, here it is. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to this change of a freaking... This is not going to work. Um, yeah, I haven't got a proper support for my elbow. Which drives me fucking ballistic. This is really sucky and I don't like it at all. I'm not happy right now. And I can lift up the arm of the chair, except for the fact I'll have to sit about three miles back in that direction if I do. I won't be able to reach the desk then, will I? <laughs> anyway. This is so fucking annoying. I need to get a new armrest. <laughs> uh, I hate the universe and everything in it. Anyway. Um, yeah. Here's my shiny pawn shop. I actually didn't do a great deal to the outside beyond putting a few posters and a few extra bits and pieces and some fortifications out front, just because um, it's got quite a distinctive look anyway. There's a lot going on. But I did feel I needed some kind of additional fortification because, you know, we're in the wasteland, right? There's no audio on that door. Hello? Somebody's taking pot shots, I don't know where they are. It's the worst thing about having you camp here. These buggers seem to have a problem with it. Oh, 
<laughs> Evening, Joshua. How's it going? The Shady Deal of Ending. Yeah, I was thinking something very similar, actually, for you know. I currently have Blue Ridge Dude back here, but... Uh, Got some cool new stuff though. Here's the picture we just ooh, picked up. Here's the the dude who's definitely going in. Very Resident Evil Four, isn't it? Um, this thing is fun. It's on the current scoreboard. I was really glad to have it. And it's also solid. It doesn't fall over and it's not, it's static. So that's nice because the ones you see around the game fall over when you sneeze near them. Raider cages, pick those up. Quite happy about that. These things are going to be fun. Definitely going to get some use out of those. Uh, some fun things there. And then we're back to stuff that we had last time. And then that's the new ally thing. The the bag from the show. Which is really cool. It's definitely fun. And I'm going to be making a video using this in the next couple of days. So yeah, some fun stuff. Loose, please. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of walled off half of this and turned it into a junk shop. <laughs> tea machine which I mostly put up there because it looks like a fun thing to go on the shelf but uh, yeah, it's just what it is. I don't use the company tea through here we have my crafting space which really doesn't look like you're going to be able to get through there but you can, no problem bit of a tight squeeze but uh, I guess your shoulder just tucks underneath this, the thing there the tyre so yeah, this works out quite nicely I like it you get a better tour if you want to watch the video. <laughs> it took my time. Yeah. It's still a fairly standard bedroom kind of living setup for me, but it works in the back corridor. Basic, but it'll do. Probably a bit drafty, though. Bag was ridiculous. It was. It, I did think it seemed uh, somewhat on the absurd side. <laughs> right. Um... Here we go. Lots of newbies making their appearances, which is always wonderful to see. Well, ever since uh, the series over the last week, so happy about that. 76, um, ooh, how far? Four minutes in? No, I'm not going to bother. 76 has got its um, got a new record number of concurrent players in the last week, which last few days, which is really, really cool. But let's have a look at challenges. What, what other freebies were on there that I didn't... No, let's not do that, actually, because uh, I'll have to fuck around with it, and uh, the music's a problem. Da -da 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 challenges. Right. Davies, what do we got? Settle a weapon to an NPC vendor. Yeah, and do that. Do challenges. Build bed, table, or, ch or stairs. What a weird combo. Okay. Uh, floor, wall, or roof. I can do that as well. And uh, cripple robot's arms. Pre-war food. I don't really want to eat pre-war food, but I probably can. Uh, in fact, I definitely can. Kill a human enemy. On reflection, actually, I can pull something out of moustache. That's not a bad idea. And make screws. All of those I'm happy to do. And bu 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 bum. we got here daily challenges. Build anything in a workshop or camp. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm actually not going to tag it, though. Collect teddy bears. Oh, that's a bit more difficult. It's a bit more difficult. Uh, complete an event, drink Nuka Cola. That I'm going to re roll because I know I don't want that. Kill Blood Eagles, kill Scorch, level up. That's probably going to get re rolled as well. Uh, produce screws, sell a missile launcher. Okay, that's actually not that hard to do. Um, so we are going to re roll drinking Nuka Cola because it's a waste. We've got better uses for Nuka Cola. Take a picture of a shoe, Scorch. Okay. That's not going to be easy, but I think we can do it. Uh, maybe. Level up. Yeah. Three times. Again, it's just a bit of a pain to do that. Produce glass. Okay, now that's much easier. So, um, first up, bed, table, or stairs. So, tables, and then floor, wall, or roofs. Okay. So do both of those things. Nice and easy. 
Full use, please. Thank you. So, let's go for tables. I'm pretty sure I can build one of those with minimal material usage. I only got about a thousand wood left. Okay, that's good to know. And floor, walls, and things. So floors and walls, I should have... I've got a blueprint for this, there we go. Voila. It was easy, wasn't it? But they even put it in there. Uh, well, I assume everything that uh, a normal realistic soldier would put in an ordinary big-ass rucksack, plus a few extra bits and pieces for power armor maintenance, and that ridiculously oversized um, assault rifle. Which, uh, I did have some fun seeing that. That amused me a lot. Somebody's getting themselves into a spot of bother up there. I'm a dull chase. Right, um... Bum, 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 bum. Kill humans. We can double down on that, no problem. Eagles, so, you yeah. uh, Screws, pre war food. Let's do pre war food. So we've definitely got a bunch of that. Dog food counts, but that's also used for specific, specific things. Uh, mystery candy, there we go. Uh, I needed five, didn't I, I think? A bit of difficulty making that work for a minute, then. Alright, let's just quickly double check my loadout. I should be on the right one, I think, but... Next thing I want to do is start with hunting scorched and blood eagles and also teddy bears. So we're going to try and do a whole bunch of that together. Um, well, the best thing to do first off is tag it in your pip boy uh, for search. So I'll show you how to do that in a second, just in case you don't know. But there's also another way of doing it as well. So if we open up pip boy, go over to your junk tab. I've got nothing in here, which is the ideal situation to start with. Down at the bottom here, we've got component view. So if I hit that, it should have a list of everything, which it doesn't for some reason. Okay, that's weird, that's changed, and I don't like it. Um, right, okay, plan B, copper. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, one good place to go is, I believe, Solomon's Pond? Around the, uh, um, you can't, where you fast travel in at Solomon's Pond, there's a house sort of off to your right, and the cliff edge behind that has a whole bunch of, so it takes some excavator power armour. Um, so that's a good place to start. Another good option is go places like Fort Defiance and look for cooking pots and the various types of those, because there's a couple of different types that have um, copper in them, as well as some other things. And then you'll at least be able to tag it for search once you've got some in your inventory, which apparently you used to be able to do this um, with an empty inventory, but it's not there right now, so I guess they changed that. Which sucks, kind of. Good. The presence of Scorched here is a good thing. It's not only do I need to shoot them. Means this might not have been looted yet. It's a good place to find some teddy bears. Uh, I don't need basketballs. That was a decent start. Bit 
glass there, which is always nice because I need some of that. Go and whack some scorched and uh, we'll carry on our journey. A lot of basketballs here today. Tommy Whacker there, if you haven't got one and you want it. Not particularly effective weapon, but they're kind of fun for camp decoration. This is going to be a good place to come to pick up uh, a bunch of teddy bears. She's finding more than I was expecting, so that's fun. They can get excitable. They're homicidal maniacs, you crazy woman. Probably enough glass by now, I don't know. Got him. Right. What's up next? Oh, hello. I really want to go and do that uh, event, but I also want to keep running around here and exploring. Seen a whole lot of Mr. Fuzzies around here. Fine. Sir, let's see. Mouse is at it again. Wonderful. Well, I didn't go according to plan, but it did kind of work anyway, so. Could be worse. Struck me as a picture that I wanted there. Right. Uh, swarm of suitors. So, hmm, seems to be anybody in there at the moment. I'm assuming not. No, that's fine. So, I'm going to bounce back to my camp, change my loadout, and I'll go and do that one. Nice and easy to solo, and I get myself some legendary cores, which I desperately need to top up on. Hmm. Super meeting clothing here. Something like that. <laughs> Does make interesting noises, I guess. I'm not sure I'm a, the biggest fan. Let's go. Evening, I'm Jack. How are we doing? What do I recommend for a good build to be able to solo most content? Um, well, you're going to need to get quite a long way in to get to that point. Um, but probably you're going down the heavy guns route. This is Grattan's Mayor hailing you from lovely downtown Grattan. Ahem. There's a couple of options, to be fair. It's because giant crab creatures are swarming all over our picturesque lake. Um... 
Hang on. Stop them from getting to the island. We can't have them breeding. Speaking of heavy guns. Um, yeah, so not bloodied, no, definitely not bloodied. Um, but I wouldn't recommend that to my worst enemy, so, you know. Um, your best bet, like, heavy guns are good, 50 cal machine guns quite easy to keep stocked up and is pretty good. It's not fast, but it's definitely effective. Um, Ultrasight Gatling laser is lots of fun, because, you know, it just is, it's a giant ass Gatling laser. Um, otherwise, auto axe and chainsaw builds are pretty darn good as well. Uh, they do have the issue of being melee, so you know, reach and range and stuff is kind of a problem there. Are you coming, or am I going to have to depth charge you? The hump for Red October on this mole farm. not hitting the guy, which is slightly annoying. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll say he pissed. But we got him. There's a 50 cal. <laughs> Not quite as cool as mine, but, uh, you know. Ooh, power on with it. Hellcat stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a bit of a, a sad excuse for a build, really, the, uh, the bloodied approach. You're all right. Yeah, there you are. There's gonna be some workable mile up body parts, nice. Didn't go quite the way I was hoping it would. Nope, I can't see anything. If it's a dead lurky over this side that might do the job, not really. No. Nope. It's hard to see the target when they're blowing everything up like that. A few hits. See so if we can't get this uh, inconvenient sod a bit closer. Terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Ah.
Healing strength. Uh, that's actually not a terrible bit of uh, armor, that. Healing strength and chance to deal energy damage to melee attackers. Okay. I think we go back to humans and scorched, oh, really, don't we? There's a good place to hunt both of those relatively easily. Um, mm -mm. Somewhere down there. I think I'm going to actually... I need to go over there. I need to drop some stuff at my camp, so I think I might do that first as well. Hmm. Not sure what the best place for this is going to be. <laughs> 50 cal. It is a good gun, 50 cal. How's it going, Eric? You right? Um, I used one for a while. I like my uh, Gatling laser a lot more than my Ultrasight Gatling laser. It's big, greeny, yellow... Laser beams. They are quite cool. Alright, so before I scrap stuff, have I got any cool junk? Uh, yeah. Couple bits, yeah. You know what? I'm surprised we haven't had um, a skin for the 10 nail pistol that looks like uh, the one from the show. So it's also based on one of the early games, 10 nail pistols, I think. What I recall. Very surprised we haven't had one of those. Oh, maybe we'll get one in coming weeks. You never know. Right. Um, scorched. I need 11 scorched and then a whole bunch of humans. Um, I'm gonna go. Yeah, actually, Summersville Dam is where I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna start with Charleston Capital Building, I think. Very nice and fun. Yeah, not particularly uh, effective, though, I wouldn't think. I don't know. Maybe you could make them useful, but I wouldn't pick them as an end game choice. Um, what's as popular as an end game weapon? I think. Um, really good example of things is to go down to something like um, any of the the world bosses. So, well, actually, the um, yeah, like um, Scorchby's Queen or Earl or anything like that, and see what people are using there. Because uh, particularly the higher level people, because I'll give you a good idea for what's good for an end game build. But the, the flamers are pretty good as well, especially the recent ones. The, the cremator that's currently on the scoreboard. Um, and I can... Um, what's it called? The one that you get from Beasts of Burden that I can't remember the name of right now. Mom's away. Do we have any survivors? No, we don't. Not down there, anyway. He bugged out a little bit. Let's not fall through the hole this time. He fell through it anyway because the character didn't want to jump when I pressed the button. Actually. Nice. Rank 40. Killing lasers. Just an ordinary one there, but still cool. So, one thing I do want to check. I'm good, at least my uh, 
I accidentally took some Radex earlier and uh, it's suppressed all my mutations and I wasn't very happy about it. <laughs> Cheers, Mitch. Glad you like it. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I was quite pleased with the results there. <laughs> uh, multiple targets, carol control. Ooh, flamer's a good bet then. Um, whatever the f that flamer I was thinking of was. Got the name of it now. Yeah, there's a few good options. My assault rifle build here is not particularly good in-game build. You can kind of just about claw one out using a fixer, but you kind of have to do some pretty yes. build stuff to do that. that throw oh that was a fucking good throw i am proud of that throw where are you oh yeah blending into the background there now i'm not 100 percent because the front um cabin thing blocked the view but i think it bounced in between them and then carried on through the door there and because there'll never be any evidence to the contrary, I'm going to continue to think this. And just assume that it is true. Yeah, I think it bounced straight in here. Cooking pot, there's a good example of something that's got copper in it. Stew pots as well. That sort of thing. Usually if the name ends in pot. I'm more surprised by is that he's so alive. It's not the thing that I was really expecting for you. I'd say I'm a fan, to be honest. There ain't nothing good out here. Uh, nothing nowhere. It's all shit. Getting goosebumps. Something's near. Where are you? Hello? Special delivery! Hot lead to your face, just as soon as I find it. Who's out there? I'm right here, buddy! I'm not exactly hiding! Where the fuck are you, you... Sneaky cockwomble. Now I'm wishing I had a uh, fat man on me. He's in the fucking locker. No wonder I couldn't find him. <laughs> uh, he was hiding in a locker. Not entirely true from what I understand, so I think Cremator gets pretty damn defective once you um, get to the end of the season board. You just need um, well, um, the right mods for it. But they don't come until later on on the scoreboard. Yeah, it was a good hiding spot for sure. Um, but... 
Now the um, plasma caster you can make a particularly effective end game weapon, but it's more of a VATS thing than a, a free aiming thing. It's definitely much more satisfying as a VATS weapon, but yeah, you can do a decent build with that for the end game if you want. So why are the blood eagle numbers higher than the human enemy kills? I can only assume I must have killed some ghoulified blood eagles. Was that shit went right where I wanted it to? I played a bit on my own time. I had the, the radio on in Fallout 4 the other day. So just seeing Uranium Fever has just made the, the song pop up in my head. I might jump in on the event in a minute. There we go. Hello? Fell down a hole, or nearly fell down a hole, anyway. Making a little progress. Um, well, there's another good place that they hang out around there. There's a couple there, but not really enough. Um, stop by the Vantage on our way to the event. I actually need to stop by the camp, really, don't I? So I'll do that. We'll pick this up in just a moment. What's sodding name is? What's the name of that bloody flamethrower that I can't remember the name of now? The hammer and nail. <laughs> uh, you could use a baseball bat with a bunch of um, nails in it. Still don't have auto closing doors. Uh, it's only been a few days since I last uh, issued a call for such a thing, but... Cool junk. It's pretty good. Let's go. I mean, I don't know about a hammer and nail, but uh, there is also the shovel. It's not really good as an end game weapon, but if you want to run around um, attacking lower level enemies with a shovel and getting that um, that vibe on the go, this is quite fun. Also, there was a reference in uh, an Easter egg in the series to that using a shovel as a weapon. Please stop and approach for identification. Which was kind of fun to see. So many Easter eggs in the series. <laughs> That's not a reference I'm going to get, Sergey. Wouldn't this mine be full of wolves? Uh, I want that. <laughs> Fuck you. 
That is full. Uh, I can go out. Yeah, I could probably come out actually on reflection. Um, now I definitely want to put that in. I don't think I've got anything else that qualifies as cool, so that's fine. I'm trying to pick up um, on account of there being a new decorating technique, which I will be going over in a video soon. Um, I'm trying to pick up a decent bit of uh, junk to use for that, so like just cool items to scatter around camps. Extraction process initiated. Keep away from extraction units while operational. Hostile trespassers detected. Employees are encouraged to remove trespassers before damage to extractor units occurs. Ooh. I hadn't really registered that uh, this was mutated then. Not my favourite mutation. It's not on bad guys anyway. Killing all miners is not my to-do list today. There's somebody who presumably doesn't have the ghoul's outfit who's trying to make do. You gotta respect the moxie, if nothing else. Damage from my own buddy, uh... Grenade, then? I thought the reflective thing was only supposed to work on... Oh, crap, I'm always that, am I? That's not good. Yeah, I thought the reflective thing was only supposed to work on conventional arms. Let's get rid of all of these. Um, I was going to do a thing. I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, I know what it was. Adequate uranium volume extracted and processed. Output quantity increased. But my ability to contribute to this event has declined slightly by didn't by not having uh, the right loadout anymore.
Well, this is going better than I was expecting. I should probably be grateful for that. Union Blade Wolf, how's it going? Anything cool in my camp, sir, Ripper? Uh, I think there's a couple of decent things. Supervisors down there, are they? Seems they are. Instigating shovel. It's a decent bit of ammo. Oh, I need to sell some weapons, don't I? That's fine, I can do that. Yes, there's a lot of stuff there. You know what, we're going to leave that for now and we'll scrap it in a bit. We'll do it another way. Holy fire, that was a flamer I couldn't remember the name of. Beast for miners. Things played off. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, I've got a few bits in my camp. I was going to say my vendors, a couple of uh, decent plans, a uh, couple of sort of rare bits and pieces, rareish bits and pieces. Some stuff that's just generally nice to have as well. Where are you, you bastards? Most lazy piece of shooting I've done in a long time. <laughs> well, been not that long a time. Somebody working on a, uh, a TV show look. I do like my current vibe though. It's uh, definitely a thing. Seated party back. So if we got anything good in that, probably not, but you know. Damn, there you go. Oh. <laughs> right. some issues there. <sighs> Definitely having some issues. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm sliding down my chair as well. No, nothing good either. Yeah, something has definitely gone a bit barely up. I seem to be able to loot at least a couple of bodies. I suspect it's a surface side issue, but... Eh, what can you do? How many weapons did I need to sell? Five, okay. Bunch of stuff that I can always use. Ah, 10 mil SMG. If only it had a better sight. to go f um, 100 days of continuous playtime and um, God, uh, five and a half years of playing the game and I still haven't, I've only just picked up the alloyed uh, modification for metal armour mental But thank you very much for the new sub. Welcome on in. Let's get rid of some of this junk and uh, we'll see about heading back out and uh, probably whacking a few more bloody eagles. Always a uh, fun time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Evening, guy. How's it going? Still mysteries left to find. <laughs> yeah, suppose. And here was it? Uh, I think it might have been The Witcher Three that the dev, one of the devs was saying recently. There's still a couple of things in there that players, as far as he's aware, have not found yet. How they know this stuff is. Uh, Curious and slightly terrifying, but um. I have to get myself uh, a mission out to get some more flux at some point. Such a drag to do <laughs> that uh, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, am I on the right loadout? No, I'm not right now, am I? My sales back. Am I looking ah, okay for now? Who didn't care? So, will I make a new beginner's guide? I don't know, to be honest. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but. The last one I made was back in 2020, so we're looking, yeah, about four years ago now. Should be about this time in 2020, and that took me a long time to make, and a lot has changed since. So this is not um, not an easy prospect making a, a, a worthwhile new beginner's guide, and the video alone would probably be at least an hour and a half long. Um, so. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to make a number of uh, useful guide videos, or add to the number of useful guide videos I've got, because I've got a whole bunch of them. Um, 
sort of work on that. Uh, you know what, let's go here. That might... No, let's find somewhere else that's fun that I've not been in ages to hunt blood eagles. Uh, hmm. Where have I not been in a while? It's a good place for blood eagles. Ugh, guided meditation, I hate that event. I should probably go and do it though. Um. Hmm. I want to empty actually on cool places to hunt blood eagles I've not been in a while. Well, let's do this one because Crimson Prospect's fun. Uh, yeah, I'll think about it. But uh, yeah, like I say, it's it's not going to be a, a swift process. This is a lot of work to do, a beginner's guide like that, especially for a game that's been out for as long as this one has. There's so much to cover, so much planning and research and figuring out what the hell I need to cover and so on and so forth. And then getting all the footage to relate to that. This is a big job. Would take quite a while to do. I mean, there's a lot of good reasons for doing it. But my god, this is not an easy ask. <laughs> Still a couple of Easter eggs in Skyrim I was reported finding. Yeah, I can believe it. I can feel it. Something's close. Skyrim is a fascinating game in a lot of ways. It's a massive, complex game with so many little hidden details and nuances. It was made by a surprisingly small team. I think it was something like 150 people or something made Skyrim. It's a hell of an achievement, really, when you think about it. It doesn't get anywhere near enough credit. This is a, a piece of uh, creativity. Yeah, ducked. Therein lies the problem with Gatling and uh, minigun type weapons. Spin up. Just got that fella killed. I feel bad for this next sentence that I'm about to say, but I kind of feel like um, Blood Eagle dogs should count as Blood Eagles when you have to complete the challenge. Now that means I'm advocating for shooting uh, all fairy creatures, but... Didn't I have to sell a missile launcher? I did. It's a missile launcher. I'm going to go and do that while I remember. So otherwise I absolutely thousand percent will forget. This is something I miss in um, Fallout uh, 4 when I was playing that earlier. Earlier in the week. Well, over the weekend. Not having a new tab in the Pip-Boy. I know we didn't have one in uh, this game until quite recently, but still. Hmm. Funny thing is, in terms of its area and stuff, Skyrim is not that big, but it just does a really good job of feeling way bigger than it is, which is very impressive. Um, it's an amazing achievement. Police dogs counts, police officers in court, so I might be onto something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've got to be honest, I think uh, police dogs probably deserve more respect than police officers do. And greater protections and so on and so forth. As you know, they're good boys, whereas uh, based on recent evidence, the same can't necessarily be said of coppers. And lots of recent evidence, to be honest, as well. I just see somebody asking whether or not I have a specific loadout for crafting. Because, yes, I do. And uh, one of the videos I'm planning in the next little while is going over my loadouts and stuff, because I do get asked semi-regularly. 
people generally have more training? Um, probably, yeah. I don't know about the UK wise, to be honest. Like, <laughs> that was you, was it, Reaper? Yes, I am planning a video on that. Um, it'll be chock full of caveats because you know. Really? Okay. You know, there's going to be plenty of people wanting to argue the toss about whether or not my build is right. I'm sure, Pleasant but. Greetings. Please gather at the tranquility sanctum for today's guided meditation, taking you on a spiritual journey toward transcendence. We will begin shortly. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings. And remember, your generous involvement donations make this spiritual journey possible. Are you ready? Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Inhale. No, I think I'm going to go and defend the side one and just stay over here for a while. I'm going to do this. I kind of want to stand wherever I'm going to get the most bad guys to shoot at. I don't know if that's here or elsewhere. A concern at the moment that is that the event might fail if all of the brazers get destroyed and the side and all the meditation hubs get destroyed and the side one is not far off and all of the others have been destroyed i feel like maybe i should make a mad dash for one of the others and repair it in the hope that it gives me a little bit of a safety net but i won't be able to keep two of them repaired well not very easily i don't think so i think maybe just uh Covering it from here might be the way to go. Ooh, I thought I was going to go belly up for a minute. <laughs> I'm both surprised and disappointed that nobody else is getting in on this, though. This is a symptom of there being so many new players. That uh, number in any given server who want to do the end game stuff is curtailed somewhat. Mostly it's a good thing, of course, but. Somewhat two sides to every coin, I think. Fuck, I knew that was going to happen. Knew it. Yeah. Oh. How's about you start shooting when I click? It's another game that doesn't seem to like responding to input. On occasion. Right. Oh, I know. I forgot to say something. Um. Picked up something that I want to get rid of. Screw it, I kind of have a plan. Hmm. 
Some big so it in. Um, I tend to just run around on my own, to be honest. I'm a little bit antisocial that way. <laughs> well, he called the the ghoul calls me to fail the event thing. I kind of had to do something. Um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Something to destroy what little dignity he had left. Anyway, yeah, couldn't allow him to remain in with any dignity intact after he'd uh, caused me to waste five minutes of my time. Because clearly that's so bleeding important, you know. Uh, right, I'm going to go and flog some stuff while I remember. Otherwise, I'll screw myself over. I'm sure if console complaint. Uh, no, crossplay is not a thing, unfortunately, Simmix. Um, yeah, you'd have to be on PC as uh, I am. Arm is itching for some reason. Why is my arm itching? I don't know. Chomped on by something, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You set up a cross save. Yeah, they haven't done that yet either. I wonder. The uptick in interest as of late. Now, if anything was ever going to increase the chances of... Uh, and um, things like cross saves and cross play happening. Ah, grenades count. Who knew? Um, yeah, then the uptick of that's been going on recently is the thing that would probably do that, you know, increasing uh, the likelihood of them putting in features that people have been asking for for ages and they just haven't done yet. Requisitions now available. E I don't think I have anything aristocrats on me at the moment, so I don't think I need to worry too much about staying over the 30k mark, but just in case. 42, nice. Famously antisocial. Yeah, that's pretty much true, Gray. Guilty as charged. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do tend to get cross when things don't work. Yeah. I don't feel like that's an unreasonable expectation. Press button, get response. It's not really a lot to ask of a computer, really, is it? I don't feel like it's setting the bar too high, you know? That's a good event to get in on. <laughs> Look, I'm saying, yeah, I mean, uh, hmm. I'm not going to uh, place any bets on it happening, but if anything ever was going to make crossplay or cross save happen, Respond it would be that. We'll see how it goes, this. Stranger things, but the other side is Bethesda are very bloody busy at the moment. There's a uh, Fallout 4 next gen upgrade, there's um, Tes 6, there's. Starfield follow-ups, there's 76, bit busy, 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 busy. Came back to get shot, isn't that convenient? Yeah, it definitely has increased the play rate. Um, from what I understand, 
The mainline Fallout games, so 3 and 4, and presumably New Vegas as well, have collectively more than doubled their concurrent player counts in the last week. And uh, 76 has hit a new concurrent player record on Steam, presumably elsewhere as well. So... Wrong button. It is uh, definitely a good time to be playing Fallout. It's one of the reasons I'm going to make a concerted effort to turn out a, a bunch of useful videos in the next little while. Take advantage of things while I can. Blew up the boss one, but I don't know where it went. Last one as per, I'm guessing, is it Aaron Holt? Yeah. Cheers, son. Appreciate it. <laughs> on that one. Yeah, the uh, next Starfield update should be dropping into um, base at any time now, I would think. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I wouldn't put too much uh, um, stock on it being any one thing until there's to say so, because the creation card thing, creation kit rather, the mod side of things, is an entirely separate program that just dies into the back end. Um, it's condensing all their game development tools basically into a, a single program. I mean, it's a whole lot of other stuff besides, but it's the general idea. So, it'll be its own sort of uh, set of issues, really. Whereas um, bug fixes and things like that are somewhat different. And they did say early part of this year, which could basically mean anything up until June, so... Yeah, it? well... Hustle's middle of March, so early May should be the next update. So, yeah, you, you'd think it would be before too long, but we'll see. They haven't said anything, and that's um, never a good sign. Uh, more blood eagles. I need six more blood eagles. I've not been there in donkeys. Let's hit that spot. Oh, congratulations, Gray. Nice work. <laughs> yeah, I'll sweat loads of here soon. Who goes there? Ugh, not bloodied. No, that's dirty. It's like cannibalism. You frown on that sort of behaviour around me. Changing your socks or something. Yeah, there we go. That's what bloodied builds are like. Playing a bloodied build is like wearing weak old socks. Just don't do it. <laughs> How's that for a comparison? I like that one. Yeah, it's not a good idea. It's probably not the end of the world, but we're going to judge you like shit if you do. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I kind of don't want them to give us specific, um, uh, like, direct rolling. I mean, I don't know. I'm reluctant to go for that just because I feel like it takes away um, people's reason to keep playing. Grinding is not the most fun thing in the world, obviously, but... Working towards a goal keeps people playing for longer, which basically keeps Bethesda updating the game for longer and short. So anything that speeds it up is uh, not good for the lifespan of the game if it reduces the amount of time people spend playing. 
more my feeling on the subject. Uh, screws and Robo Brain and Protect Jump. Okay, we'll probably go two for one. Quite close together if I go here first. Uh, oh, I don't know. That really makes the taste of that bad. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you can get high damage results with it, but, you know. Firstly, this game is easy as shit, so if you need to go for a ridiculously high damage build, what on earth are you doing playing on easy mode? Um, secondly, you're taking a very easy game and just, you know, dying left, right and centre and then asking for other people to pick you up. It's just like... Mm. I don't know. It's all a bit shit. Let's be honest, bloody builds can't tank a strong fart, so... I don't know, I don't get the appeal. That's what I'm saying. Target acquired. Vault dweller. 2054 cold. They want their dumb blue jumpsuit back. Nailed it. Is that boy? Harking back to a previous conversation, actually. I just remembered something I would like to see added to... Uh, ooh, hello. Yes, please. I would like to see added to... Um, uh, uh, Elder Scrolls 6 and all future Bethesda games, which is more creative um, ways to up the difficulty rather than just, you know, increasing the health pool and the resistances of enemies. To actually um, make them smarter and things like that. So the, the, the challenge increases in other ways, not just making them more of a bullet sponge. Ah! F'd it. F'd it again. I need screws. So let's see if somebody's picked me at the post. It looks like they probably have. This is. They have. Um, let's get down here again. Now we'll get ready for um, the event. <laughs> the good one for farming legendaries. Yeah, that's not a bad one on insult bot side there. You're hoping to get lucky. I thought you were thinking that, Grace. <laughs> See if you get the same insult. Lucky's not far off. How can I assist you today? and my brain just kind of completely shut off on how to play the game for a second now. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. What are the controls? Oh, well. We're back. We're back in the room. I do love that backpack, though. The Crocolossus on it. Only one other person. This is not going to go well, is it? <laughs> Cheers, now. Cheers. Is anyone out there? This recording is a uh, Maybe we're going to do okay. Uh, Settler Camp was attacked by mutants last night. Please help. My name is Kenneth Dean. We're south of Huntersville. I didn't come to the last one alive. Uh, 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 
That's a lot of big bad super memes. It's completely changed colour on this side. Oh dear. Also, for some reason, the uh, oh the event has disappeared on me. Wonderful. So they presumably didn't get it started fast enough. So the servers have gone to shite, apparently. Slightly annoying. I think I'm going to go and server hop in a minute. Um, bum, 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 bum. Where am I? Best bet's going to be there, isn't it? Yeah, definitely time to server hop, I think, because this one is uh, janky. I can't seem to reliably loot. And uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people who are able to do events at the moment, which kind of sucks. Uh, pretty sure the challenge for gaining XP does not stop when you get to rank 100. It's not supposed to. Never has in the past, as far as I know. Oh, does it? Challenge to gain XP. Really? Hmm, weird. Shows what I know. <laughs> I usually get to level 100 and basically stop anyway, and don't worry about gaining XP anyway, so... Anti-fast measure. Yeah. Don't get any ideas. Jump. It's dangerous to go alone. It's dangerous to go in groups. It's just dangerous out here. Let's go to camp, get rid of this stuff I'm lugging around on, on one that hopefully has a few high level players who want to engage with some more content. Don't get it. Low level players have other priorities, it makes sense. What I'm doing at the moment. Love of God. Not sure if OBS or my router. I'm surprised for people to say XP farms, burns the ranks. Yeah. Kinda does. I don't know, that kind of gameplay just seems weird to me. Efficiently farm XP and turning into such a procedure like that, it's just, just it stops being a game at that point to me. It starts just being some kind of weird obligation job like thing, which is ew, you know, <laughs> defeat the point of gaming really to me. Um, yeah, that'll be why the stream is buffering, because something weird on my end is going on. I don't know if it's OBS or my internet or what. Something weird is occurring with my connection. Hmm. 
Mm. It's usually the reason it happens, or at least likely anyway. Because I don't know what that issue is, but... Let me try and figure it out. Stick... Ow. My head being weird. Um... Mild headache for a second then. Decryption today, that's no fun. Well, it is, but it's not as good as the other one. I'll blink. Screws, take a picture of sheep squirts, which is probably going to be challenging, but if we don't do it tonight, we can do it tomorrow. Why am I left with uh, no progress on collect teddy bears when I collected dozens of them? Because Mr. Fuzzy's don't count as fucking teddy bears, do they? Because uh, that's really daft. Might to drop a hint on that one. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll that one with one of my premium ones because if it's got to be basic ones, that's way too much hassle to collect. That's like so That's much more doable. Uh, bu -bu 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 Need one more blood eel. Need a bunch of glass. Screws and fertilizer. I think we can do that. Glass will do go and do. Um, where am I? I'm here. Let's get wavy willards. Go and do my usual hunt for glass up that way. Holy fire. Mm. You had two hours. Yeah, I'm usually around about there as well, Gray. Yeah, that's some uh, nice, easy rerolls for sure. And, uh, like I said, I don't want things to be just like, yeah, let's do them all in five minutes. I was like, oh. it's feeling like a video game, and starts feeling weird at that point. Let's hope if you know where things spawn, for sure. It's not too bad with most of them these days, though. A pair of glasses are picked up there. But there's a weird thing with sunglasses lately, which is why I haven't been wearing them. Because I do quite like them on this character. That uh, the character's eyebrows seem to poke through them. This is not a bad combination. It doesn't have that problem, but... Oh, the bulk cut ones. Okay, I've already got a set of those. What's that? Screws. Easy place to find screws around here. Up top, not so easy. Um, quick rummage in the offices and stuff and see if there's anything here. Offices are the sort of place usually. Oh look. Um yeah, bloody eagles and fertilizer. Fertilizer, I'm gonna try Lewis and Sons first up. <laughs> Is uh yeah, that's a good spot. Hopefully it looks a lot like the one I you use for stealth archery. With a little bit more uh, silly to it, I should imagine, for Fallout. <sighs> We mm -hmm. event so many times. Yeah, that's definitely a progress uh, for the weeklies. But you can kind of not worry about that. Because if you're going to do more than one set of dailies, you can jump back in and do it then as well and stuff. So it's not so not so bad. 
You kind of like this spot. It's just something about it. Figure out where they might have been throwing um, golf balls into buckets from. But... Not seeing anything that suggests that. Suggests where they might have been standing. Now yeah, then. Lots and lots of ceramic here. Not finding any fertilizer though, which makes me think somebody might have been along with the same idea as me before. Now, oh wait, listen. You said it. Lead, so I'm guessing there's supposed to be like diesel or something in there. Farm machinery, I guess. All right, another good place to find uh, oh, I know where maybe might have some luck at Lewisburg. Let's try Lewisburg. Redstone hide outfit. Do I remember that one? Oh, is it um, Stealth Archer on in this game? Ooh. I mean, it kind of works, but. Well, that's not creepy at all, is it? Large piles of meat and stuff just spontaneously appearing in front of you. Somebody's obviously dropped this or killed something or something. But. Yeah, that's weird. Still, a couple of free legendaries, don't mind if I do. And up we go. I feel like I've come here looking for fertilizer before and there wasn't as much as I thought. Something is uh, triggering in the back of my brain there. Uh, I nearly screwed that up. It's time me jump. Yeah, I feel like there should be a lot more than there is. Hmm. Another big meat pile following me around up here. The creepy at all, is it? On these, and I think they were on the atomic shop actually recently. The the rose planters, but they were in a bundle and I didn't want anything else, so I chose not to get it. Anything else that was in the bundle, rather. Really. Just kind of suck a bit when that happens. Not quite loot box scale of issues, but it's definitely an issue, that sort of thing. Not sure if this server's going so well either. Uh it's Some of it done at least. Look about now, how's it going? Different but similar. Hmm. 43. Load bearing. That'd be an easy on a day. Just 
So we'll need fertilizer though. Go out on tour. There we go. Uh, okay, we're just getting it. Guessing not, no. Uh, it's been a bit too quiet recently. Buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Regenerating, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, that's not how that's supposed to go. Mine shaft hasn't cleared properly. Yeah, it's gone barely up a bit. Huh, yeah. Servers are a bit janky, aren't they? I think I will do another server hop, because this is not going spectacularly well. There's a lot of ammo, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that is fucking ridiculous. Right, let's get rid of that notification that's just popped up over there. And try again without the slight error. I'm wondering if um, more people on there is causing s uh, more server instability or if there's something else going on. Um, hmm. How far are we out from the update? Just shy of a month, now, about a month now. So it could be just be that servers, uh, you know, could do with a little bit of downtime. That's possible. Um, especially if you combine with a lot more people on them, that might have part of the effect. The other part of the thing I'm wondering is whether or not that the sudden spiking interest in the game has got some of those people that are out there doing dodgy things and doing, you know, just getting people in sweatshops to farm caps and what have you so they can sell them to lazy players. Um, which is against terms of service, by the way. Um, you know, I wonder whether or not they've uh, started doing a hell of a lot more same thing with all the dodgy uh, practices. Just suddenly, because there's a sudden resurgence of interest in the, the game. I don't know. I do know I'm back on the same bloody server, though, aren't I? So, uh, hang on. Who's comes that? Right. Let's try again, shall we? Yeah, it doesn't seem so great this week. I remember it was like last week. Better, I think. I think. Not at its best, but better.
Hmm. It definitely got janky in the run up to the last update. I'm trying to think whether or not things were iffy after the update or not with the sort of server performance. Can't really remember now. But, uh, yeah, it's not at 100% at the moment, that's for sure. It's normally much better than this. There we go. It's on a different uh, server this time. We might have a bit more luck. Yeah. Which is good for the game, but suboptimal for what I'm doing. I'm not doing guided meditation again. Fuck that shit. Um, fertilizer. You see, I produced loads of screws, but I'm still apparently having issues. Let's um, bounce over here and give that a go. Again. You blood eagles and fertilizer. Hmm. Where else can I find fertilizer? Look in a minute. Not bad going. Although with minigun ammo, you can usually get a whole lot more of it. It's because you go through it so damn fast. So you get th two or three times as much ammo. It's equivalent to the same thing. At least some of what I need in here. crazy there. Um, right, yeah. let's, let's have a look at my notes and see if I can't figure out where fertilizer is best found. I probably can't, but you know. Yeah, this is Lewisburg rooftops, but it doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Either I've been out of luck several times or it's not as good as uh, I thought it was. Um, that would be a fun spot. Let's go there and whack a blood eagle a minute. Uh, add an armor bench is where to craft that one. Four, very nearly. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. I need a few more screws. Let's head to the Chelsea Herald. See if we can grab a couple more out of there. Um. It'll be a skin. If it's a mothburn backpack, it'll be a skin for a backpack if you already have one. So, um, yeah, modify an existing one. Or if you haven't um, got an existing one, you should be able to craft one. You pick up the, uh, the plans to craft backpacks fairly early on. Morgantown Airport and elsewhere. For the basic one, anyway. The large one, you have to go through the whole Pioneer Scouts thing. And crikey, I can't even remember how to, how to do that. One other reason I'd be um, somewhat hesitant and reluctant to make a video, uh, um, a beginner's guide video, is if I wanted to make a comprehensive one, my god. I only get things like how to get um, large backpacks, that's just such a... Th Procedure. And it's just one of an absolute ton of things you'd need to uh, work your way through. Stuff like that, technical data and things like that. And quests attached to that. Oh, man. Like, I want to, but the prospect is just like, fucking hell. So the idea of doing this is so much stuff. 
will be a hell of a project. I got visitors, apparently. Well, beginners guide survived for the most part, I think. Yeah. The highest backpack we got from last season has a cool particle effect where individual bills fly out of it. Well, any particular time, or when you get shot, or when you jump, or just when you're running around? That sounds interesting. Hmm. I've bought my stuff and yet they've already disappeared. Um, yeah. It's 44. Backpack, yeah, my stash is full again. So I put a bunch of junk in it. Yikes. Um, <laughs> Gonna uh, do some cooking, won't I? This is carrying up here. Weird. Very strange. Anyway, um, fertilizer is the one thing I need. How much more do I need? Not that much. Let's try the. Nah. Uh, hmm. If not Lewis and Sons, then where? I know where. Might not work, but we'll try it. General Steakhouse. Let's try a firebase. And then run in from there. This is the Brahmin corpse you can get with seasonal rewards provided with Brahmin meat. I think it might do. It's no different to um, red stag meat, really. Same thing with a different name, really. I think. It's the, the primary thing is it buffs your carry weight, anyway. I think I might be on the wrong load out here. Should by the fact that these fellows don't seem to want to die very easily. They die a bit more quickly when you actually shoot them. Hmm. Yeah, screw it. Let's try loads and sons because I can't think of anywhere else. Uh, dog with dive locations, that's not a bad option. See how we do it, Lewis and Sons, now I'm here, but... Yeah, failing that, I'll head up there and see what I can find. Yeah, well, not really expecting much. As I've already been through, I assume because it's me coming back here, it will just wipe it or reset it based on my previous experience or however it does that. Locations for dogwood dive. Ooh, leader of the pack, though. Hmm. 
Um, well, I'm going to be up near there anyway, won't it? Responders, priority alert! Looks like those damn wolves are on the hunt again. Force Watch has spotted multiple packs. This lead in just feels so long now, I've heard it so many times. Location is unknown. We need to find and kill that alpha wolf ASAP. Take out the smaller packs and draw out that alpha. Just make sure you bring a lot of bullets. That big alpha is a heap of trouble. Hmm. Yeah, I can only really think of one location that's actually included in Dogwood Dive because I never do the event. Being bugged historically. I think it got fixed though, didn't it? Filthy mats, eh? Such a cool location. That last one, um, cheers. What's it called? Yeah, so it's, no, that's it. Black Mountain Ordnance is uh, an annoyingly difficult place to photograph and have it look good. It's because of the lighting around there. Righty then. Really, this spot might be a good one. Just the Wolf Lord boss got to. Well, it's supposed to be legendary, but never is. Oh, there's a bunch of junk there I'm going to have to get rid of. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was a good look. Variation on one of my favourites. It was a good camp, actually, that one. He's in an existing location. Uh, yeah, I think that's right, Cinemix. Ooh, gear, nice. Big ass angry turtle. <laughs> F that up, didn't I? Because didn't have it set to save the picture. There we go. She got somewhere that time. It's not back here. Oh, 
There we go. That might do. Right, now let's... Uh, see how we get on. It's not here. Surprising. Um, it should be in the sort of the control room in at the end of the run through that dungeon. I think it's the overseer's chest. Yeah, near the beds. Hmm. Okay, Steve. Time to put the feet up for sure then. Bean broken is really the right turn and phrase for that. Uh, does rather shake yourself to bits, this gun. I feel like there's potentially, now the sun's coming up a bit more, more cool pictures to be had here. And I gear, yeah, it sure is. one decent picture somewhere in all that lot. Got him even as he got me. Right. I came here for fertiliser. See if there might be any knocking around. I've got any idea where to start looking, but... <laughs> nice, Steve. Yeah, well, if there's somewhere around here that's supposed to be a container, I don't know where it is. Ben Lewis and Sons, there's fuck all there. Cemetery is a possibility, but it's all the way down the other end of the map. I don't want to go all the way down there. Which is, I just came from there. <laughs> uh, due to a lack of a better idea. And a lot of going around in circles. Let's try Kanoa. first I'm gonna stop by my my house on the way down there. Ay, 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 ay.
Hmm. Seems a little safe. It kind of sounds like it might be a bit more reliable there. on the wrong light out. Hmm. Oh, bear large. Uh, didn't see that one. No. Oh, I did see it vaguely flew past, but didn't get to, to catch it. Hotsburg. Uh, Wilson Farm. I will add those to the list. Not that shed, then. Ah, that shit. Probably. Ah, no, that's cement. Always handy, but... There's a couple of... Ah, now we're good, I think. Is there a workbench around there, anyway? Um, probably, but you know what I'm going to do? Like this tent, but you can't place it close to you. Hallelujah. Now we'll need a sheep scotch picture, and God knows where I'm going to find that. How are we doing? We're out that time, aren't we? Hmm. What could do? That was something I was thinking about doing. Well, I think, ooh, Monster Mash is rolling, maybe not. Uh, I was debating whether or not to go and get cans of paint for potential use in decorating, but... It's not a particularly major issue, and uh, if Monster Mash is rolling, I don't fancy it. Whew. Excuse me. Hmm. Well, we wait for an event. Shall we see if anybody's selling anything interesting? Got any interesting camps on the go? Well, there's one. Let's try that for starters. By the way, success. I had to re-roll a couple of things, but that's fine. And That last one was a bit of a ch drag, but... There's a couple of those um, challenges that I'm not sure if they reset on me or they didn't register certain things, but uh, we got there eventually. This thing is so hard on me, I'll be. Uh, I'll get used to it. Not happy with my armor situation at all. Got a nice little house on the cliffside. I'll we'll get around the other side and see what view we can get. Don't have the door locked either, that's good to see. Best fungal. Hmm. Not sure there's nothing particularly interesting though to me. The cake. Missed out on that. We got some nice bits and pieces. There's a really nice little house going on. Not too shabby. Decent view out towards Batoga there. And have any nukes being dropped in the distance? That would be a pretty good place to sort of watch them. I feel like I'd probably want... Uh... Hmm. 
Interesting. Want a balcony on the back of that if it were me. I'll definitely put some kind of balcony on the back. Anyway, next. Something over this way. Ugh. Hear a noise. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if that might have something to do with why the super mutants are showing up, but I think it's just a uh, random attack on the camp and they're just unlucky. Volunteers to repair stuff for them, but. Uh, that's gonna work out. That's not a bad tenderizer, actually. It's not worth 20 grand, though. But nothing's worth 20 grand anymore, weapon wise. Uh, uh, oh, some good stuff there. Especially large amount of good stuff, actually. Well, somebody got a lot of time over Christmas, maybe. But they're asking stupid prices for it. It's silly prices for everything, to be honest. Radio seems like the only appropriate thing to do. Feel bad for uh, defending their camp now. No longer willing to uh, attempt to repair anything. Not with those silly prices. Ain't nobody paying that kind of money. So we got over there. Scorch to protect them as teapots. Why? Where are you searching for them? I would assume um, parts of the winding path. I would think would be the best place. I guess. Ah, I didn't know you could build this close to uh... ah, uncanny caverns. Well. And it's quite flat. We've built an unnecessarily tall Captain camp for some reason, but own reward. Sometimes a way oh, and dirty one startled me. Interesting look there. Gas mask on. Ah, there we go. Nope, nothing I need. What else we got? Four minutes till the next event. Uh, let's try over there. That's the winding path, yeah, I thought it might be. Interesting. Oh, oh. Nothing particularly exciting there, I don't think. Sixty seven free Watoga. 
uh, flyers, each at 50 caps. That seems uh, and I, like it might be a tough sell, huh? Like that didn't know you'd sell those. Yeah, nothing particularly exciting. Not sure why they have a weird floaty centric circle setup thing going on there. That's very strange contraption of wires there. I'm attempted to head in and see what we get in here. Is there anything I would care to be hanging on to and be upset if I lost? No. Okay. Just in case, I thought it might be the entrance to a trap camp, but it doesn't seem to be. They just have a weird siren rigged up whenever they come home for some reason. Not quite the thing. We actually used the Brahmin cap. Oh. Well, that's why Ancient likes the uh, the Sultron quite so much. Yeah. There's camp over there. Not much going on there. Um, and one down here. One down there. I haven't just that one, but there's nothing happening there either. Oh well. I'm surprised you shot by getting a scan through the whole inventory, which drives you mad. I'm, I can scan pretty quickly at it, so I, the things that I might be interesting leap out quite quickly, so it doesn't bother me too much, but I can see where you're coming from, Gray. Um, I think we have to put in there, away. No. I think I might have some stuff on to get rid of, though. Uh, a couple of bits, yeah. Um. Stash is full. Fuck off. Not that bloody full. Clean all lunch stuff out and put some more stuff in for uh, sake of having cool stuff to decorate with in there, but I'm a little bit annoyed that I'm struggling a bit already. I've got a lot of stuff in here, maybe I should think of getting rid of some of it, but... So there's a lot of cool stuff that I can't just recraft in here, so... Spin the wheel. Okay, I'll jump in on that in a second. Um, Really frustrating. Um, I don't suppose we much under here. We'll uh, lunch boxes. A lot of lunch boxes that I don't even need, really. No, not much there. Let's 
much not much space and get rid of and this will get rid of some of this junk which I really don't know where all my freaking a lot of this stuff is going in this of course but it's like well, there's a lot of weight gone somewhere and I don't even know where it is hmm need to have a hard aggressive uh, clear out at some point I think Uh, feels reasonable for that. Uh, what was the van running out? That one, wasn't it? So. Like repair kits and lunchboxes as well. Yeah, I think some of that's going to be uh, some of the stuff that goes grey for sure. <laughs> that's a great thing. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit excessive. How's it going, son? Mule? Yeah, nah. But now I've got one character and that's all I really need. Anything else is just superfluous, really. Ooh, anti armor, damage while aiming, movement speed while aiming. That's good. I don't want to get rid of that, kind of. Could be quite fun to play around with that. Then means I need somewhere to store it, which I don't have. I am authorized to trade, supply, and. Maybe something to do during the. Uh, During the day, well, I've got some other stuff to do tomorrow, but when I get a bit of time, maybe. You can stash out quite aggressively. Uh, no, it's under there, isn't it? I need to go here. Oh, the music's already off, didn't even realise. That's a win. Yeah, man. You there. Sure do, well, Interesting oh, outfit combo. No. Stay away from red. Ugh. And yellow? Well, we'll leave that one up to the imagination. Now it's time to four heavy gunners, two red. Gerlin lasers. Oh, I don't know if that one's ultra sight or not though, can't really tell. Um, there's a flamer over there, and there's a minigun there. This is a lot, doesn't it? It's not an ultra sight one. Optics might be worth nabbing that. Oh, didn't really want to get that. This is where the uh, coffee comes in hand. Andy. 
even. The other thing sounds like something entirely different. The tax vision's are really crikey. Return to the stage and spin the wheel. If a little bit dizzy now. Nice night, but Again? And didn't want to shoot then. I oh, just one left over. Oh. I still have no idea how you're supposed to do this, or what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Got it, okay. Just clicked it when I heard him laughing. It's time to spin the wheel again. Golly, that was exciting. That was the wrong thing. Ha ha! Got him! But I remembered I needed to take a picture of one, though. That was actually a good gun because it looks so cool. I think we're good, aren't we? Well, get there, did I? Are you having fun? No. It's a good old path to keep this place running. Nice. 
hate queuing for these things. <laughs> Very un-British of me, I know, but I do. Okay, that is efficient, Steve. 60% score boost is a lot. When do you go through it so quick? Well, anyway, I'm 40-something, and at least a week before it becomes... At least another week before I need to hit rank 50, so... Two weeks, I would think. End of April, I would think you'd need to be at least at rank 50. Maybe a little bit past that to uh, be on track. How long does it take? Okay, so yeah, I think that's the basic. He's still tough, isn't it? Cool. Yeah. Rip. I didn't realise the uh, free fallout first thing had a score boost in it as well. I haven't bothered claiming that, because, uh, you know, I've already got fallout first. What's the point in claiming a free thing? But if it's got a, a score boost on it, it might be potentially worth it. Possibly, possibly. There's a lot else that needs to go. I can go away. Yeah, basically, we're doing all right, aren't we? Very anyway, it's a little silly high, which probably means I need to go and get rid of some stuff. A couple of things there. A couple of things to sell. Let's go and sell a few bits. It's the one drawback with having uh, boarded up the back door so you can't get out of it. I'll be all the way around the front when I want to go and deal with these uh, rude chaps. Didn't think that made it. Even bloody close. So, in my camp. Huh. Thank you very much. Glad you like the camp. I was quite pleased with how that came out. It was not sure for a while there, but it came out all right. Okay. Well, <laughs> keep getting my headphones off. My ears are getting a bit yuck. Studio compulsions. Uh, yeah, there's there's like three quests over there that I know of. Side quests in Atlantic City. Ammunition and other supplies available here. Uh, sell any of that? I don't think. Um. I could sit down sell them camp, couldn't I? If you have supplies to trade, I can be of service. You cool. all? That's everything I'm going to sell. Broadside aside, 
go. Mr. Crouch's death claw gone, man. Terrible, not great. Most of the carry weight I can get rid of at this point. This that's looking decidedly worn out. Probably not as bad as I thought. Cool. Well then. Ah. I think that's probably about wrapped. Got everything done today, though, so that's all right. Get together all right. I thought it was going to take a while there in the middle, but uh, managed to get everything crossed off. Productive day. Focus on primarily um, quests tomorrow. A few challenges as well. I'll do the dailies tomorrow, but yeah. All in all. I do like this. It's come out quite nicely. I like the mirror board and dartboard combination there. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Hmm. Lots and lots of bits of detail. Quite happy. Anyway, I think for one shiny evening... Do I have something I want to put in my stash box? Uh, yeah, I did actually, didn't I? Can dog food. I think that's everything. Right, on that note, I think we'll probably call it for about one evening. Ugh. Yeah, productive. So I need to check the dates on the free trial thing. Um, yeah, it's weird that Mr. Fuzzies don't count, but I probably won't do anything about that. Yeah, uh, I'm going to uh, message Bethesda about that, or one of the community managers anyway. Yeah, um, quite good fun. Cheers, Gray. Um, got to just shy of level 50 now, 45, uh, no, higher than 45, I think, 47 maybe, something like that. Cheers, feline. Um, tomorrow, we'll crack on with, I think we'll probably finish the Russo's quest line in Atlantic City. That'll be too bad. We'll do the dailies as well, that should be all right. Um, and then, um, yeah, we might see about tackling. We we'll definitely want to do a couple of the expeditions, I think, if we get the time, because we haven't done a great deal of those. And then from there, we can do, um, maybe some of the side quests, because there's three of those that we need to tackle as well. Uh, we'll see what happens after that. Should be cool. See what happens in the, the summer update as well. I'm curious about that. We've not heard any word yet, so, hmm, should be interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was fun. Um, definitely enjoyed. Thank you all for hanging out tonight. Do check out the... Um, how do you do it? Right? Do check out the... Uh, yeah, I'm sliding down, can you tell? <laughs> Again. It's a nice chair, this, but uh, the combination of sweatpants and the chair just turns to make me go... I'm melting. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, we should have a good uh, session tomorrow. If you haven't already, yeah, the video I was going to say on that uh, camp is up on the channel, so you can have a gander at that if you'd like to. A um, couple more videos planned for the next little while. I'm going to do one on my loadouts. I've got another building technique I want to go over for. And what was the other one? Oh, yeah, I've got um, an early game build thing planned, uh, which I might even create a new character to have a crack at just because. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, would be good fun though. My concern with uh, having a new character though is uh, having enough resources. <laughs> Still, um, I might have a look at that in the next couple of days. Um, yeah, so that's the sort of video plan for the next little while on the Fallout front. Um, anything else we'll have to see about? Um. So after tomorrow, we're going to do some more Fallout, and then uh, Thursday, Friday, we'll see, because I, I still need to um, 
check some other stuff out. Uh, make my mind up, make some decisions on um, what's next in the streaming schedule. So I will put a reminder up there for myself because I need to figure that bit out too. Um, so yeah, lots to think about. But uh, for now, we'll probably do at least some Pacific Drive on Thursday or Friday. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, 16 today, 17. Uh, maybe we might even do something new. We might do something new at the week, end of the week. I mean, we'd have like four games on the go at once, so that would be all some crazy juggling, but we'll see. Anyway, folks, um, lots to keep us going in the next little while. Uh, but, 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 yeah, I'll think about maybe doing um, a beginner's guide. It's kind of a bit late. I should really have done it um, for the last month or so, really, shouldn't I? And then it was timed up for the uh, the series. If I had uh, had the foresight, I'd have done that, but <clears throat> God prospect of doing it it would be such a freaking massive undertaking right covering uh the main stuff for obs is up to no good again um uh, yeah covering the early game and main story and then like wastelanders and all of the other updates and talking about side quests and stuff like that like the um encrypted stuff and uh nuka shine stuff and that sort of thing it's just there's so much it would be absolutely uh the procrastinating height yeah could definitely do that there's so bloody much to cover though when you just start to think about it and like events and so many things i'd be at it for freaking ages trying to plan the thing and i'd still miss stuff so uh yeah you know it's one of those i think if i did it what i'd probably have to do is make a point of um I'd probably have to play through the game again from scratch to get the footage as well. So, uh, there's got to be a good 30-odd uh, plus hours of uh, gameplay just to be able to create such a thing before I even do that. I'm talking myself out of doing it here, really, aren't I? I don't know. I'll think about it. It won't happen soon, because, yeah, crikey. Anyway, folks, um, plenty to be keeping busy with in the meantime. So, thank you for hanging out. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, have a good time. And do drop subs and likes. I very much appreciate social media links, merch store, channel memberships, all that down below as well. If you want to check that stuff out, support the channel in that way. I really, really, really appreciate that because it massively helps out. Huge thank you to everybody who's done that. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, notification bell and all that good stuff. And... Uh, We'll be back at it tomorrow night for some questing, primarily. We'll do a little bit of uh, challenges and stuff, but we'll focus on the other side of things for Atlantic City tomorrow. It should be cool. Looking forward. So, hmm, breaking beginner's guide to uh, different things. Yeah, I mean, that's potentially a way of doing it. It's not any less work. Um, could potentially do something like that. Might be a bit more manageable or more approachable, possibly, but uh, yeah. Hmm, it's not a bad idea, right? Okay? I'd have to think about that. Hmm. I could do that over a period of time. Keep me still keep you crazy busy though. <laughs> anyway, folks. Um yeah, that's the other thing. Like there's the do you leave at uh, level twenty, do you leave at um level one or well, level when you come in out of the vault, because you know. I still think the uh, the way to go on that is probably level 20 if it's not your first character, level 1 if it is your first character. Just because otherwise you're going to get absolutely dumped with information and it will kind of be a nightmare, I would think. I would assume. Yeah, it's been uh, long enough since I've played through the early game that it would be a thing to wrap my head around. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I'll have to think about it. So, thank you for hanging out. Do appreciate the input. Um, have a good rest of the evening and uh, a good day tomorrow. Look after yourself, stay safe and all that stuff. And yeah, joins for a little bit of the questing sides. All the way to the new drop. Yeah, that would be a thing. <laughs> be a hell of a thing to play uh, to make videos on. In fact, there'd be even more than that because there's so much side stuff to cover as well that would have to be included. Uh, like getting to the end of the main story would be the easy bit. <sighs> That's saying something. Yeah. Anyway, have a good one, folks. I'll catch you all for uh, some questing and stuff tomorrow, which should be good fun. Different uh, change of tone and pace and things should be fun. So, till then, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. And, uh, yeah, catch you next time. <laughs> Night, folks.